Today, we're gonna be framing in a garage door. That's how you frame a door inside of my garage. Professionally. From the top of this plate to the bottom of this plate is only 80 and a, 80 and a half or 80 and a quarter inches, and we need it to be 81 and a half. So this pretty much has to come out for the door to fit into our rough opening. Welcome to Silly Builders, the YouTube channel where we show you home renovations from a homeowner's perspective. Now I like to preface each episode by letting our viewers know that we're not professionals by any means. Uh, in fact, a lot of the times we don't really know what we're doing. Today, we're talking about installing an exterior door. That one. Why you hire professionals? We're wrapping the bottom treated plate with uh, this foam silk. And it kind of, uh, do you mind? Yep. Thanks. Um, it kind of, when you, when you screw it in, when you seal it in, it'll create a, uh, kind of like a, a weather proof layer. And, um, so weather is proofed out. This goes on the ground and it squeezes up against the ground, makes that noise. <laughs> yeah. And it, uh, makes that weather seal. Bye. Why do fart noises still make me laugh? Dude, how you got? Just do two. Two couple bids. One, two couple bids. Can you make the fart noise when I do it? <laughs> Not yet. Nice. Not yet. Let's squash this styrofoam in there. You're saving the fart noise for the styrofoam? Yeah. You gotta save the punchline. Oh, I hope you really nail it. Liquid nails, liquid nails. Okay. You gonna do it? Oh. <laughs> you didn't even do it! Okay, um, where's our level? We need a little level. Do we have a little level? What I've got, huh? So what I've got is uh, blue skin, and it's a uh, it's a door and window flashing waterproof layer membrane, uh, as my buddy Jeff likes to call it. Um, so I'm just gonna layer the uh, the whole frame with this uh, to make sure the water doesn't come in. Actually, Pat, do you have that box cutter? This whole thing. That's the exact one. Go ahead and hit me a swipe there, please, bud. Careful, that's a fresh box cutter. This thing's gonna be sharp. This is a really um, thick adhesive here. Oh, wow. Check that out, huh? It's no joke. <laughs> 
<laughs> Check that out. Wow. There we go. Blue skin. Ah, I see why they call it that. It's a nice belt you got that. Yep. <laughs> Today's Pat's debut of his new belt. He just got it this morning. He's very proud of it. Not I'm proud much of, of a too. belt. More of just a hanger. Ugh. But I found that I was kept losing my tools, so I was like, well, might as well spend a little bit of money. Save a little time. Bottom sill here for our door level. Got our piece of blue skin here. All cut, ready to go. A little bit of overhang on the edges. You want to do the arms? You got that. All right. We've got some scores here on the edges where it hangs over, so it'll just go down and come out like that. I didn't know you could fit a whole skill saw on that new tool belt. <laughs> This stuff is very sticky, so you want to be very careful. Mm, it smells like a petroleum-based um, adhesive here. <laughs> Not a big fan of the petroleum industry, but you know, sometimes you need that jelly. Sometimes you need it. Times like these. I don't think you're ready for this jelly. This stuff's really stretchy too. So now we're gonna come and do our vertical pieces. Now that is a membrane. My buddy Jeff says that all the time. He's hilarious. Your buddy Jeff? My buddy Jeff does this uh, really, really well. Who's Jeff? He's the guy I do the other projects with. What? What other projects are you doing? I thought we were just doing this. It's, the camera's rolling. We can talk about this later. No, but who's Jeff? We'll talk about... You told me. We'll talk about Jeff later. I thought I was... You... You said that. Pat, drop it. You're, you're the only one for me. You said that I was your partner. In all your projects. You were busy. But, Jeff, I haven't even seen Jeff. You were busy. Okay. So do you think that your buddy Jeff would say we're doing a good job? I think if Jeff was here, he would probably say that you're doing okay. But yeah, Jeff. He would do it better. Jeff's a professional. Uh oh. See, like what the thing that you're, you're doing right now, Jeff would n never do it like this. I think you guys would really hit it off, though. Oh, okay. I don't know. What about you and Jeff, though? Like, do you guys hit it off? We hit it off really well. You guys met at uh, La Familia one time. We were getting Coronas. La Familia Restaurante. Restaurante. Italian. What do you think about doing some like extra pieces here? Yeah, love it. Jeff would do that. Jeff would do it? Mm-hmm. I don't know if I want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> so jealous. <laughs> Jeff would do it? I don't know if I want to do it. <laughs> Does Jeff charge money for you? Yeah. Oh, okay. So he's not free. What? So he's not free. He gives me the friend rate. Oh, okay. So you guys are buddies? Yeah. Your friends. Pretty good. Pretty good. Are you mad about Jeff? Do you call him? Do you, do you? <laughs> oh, here we go. Do you call Jeff? Yeah. You guys text? Yeah. We text about projects and... Have you ever had him come over for dinner? 
You have a yeah. cook? You cook for him? Yeah, he spins the night. He spins the night. I smoke meats for him all the time. Really? Yeah, he smoked my meat, I smoke his. Hmm. So we've got the whole frame of the door blue skinned up and it's uh, covered in the, the water resistant seal. Um, now we're gonna take the door, fit it to make sure that all the stuff that we've taken away and added, it still fits nicely. Um, and then we're gonna shim it to get it level and tight and, uh, and then put the door in. You want to make sure that you stretch really well. So Pat, pull your pants up yeah, high, high and up. do squats with me. Hike up. Squat, squat down. Hike up, squat up, down. And then you're going to want to lift with your legs. You get that squat, and you lift. Oh, you're good. This is the dad approved method. Lift with your legs, not your back. Or your sack. Don't lift with your sack. Trying to open. It slid off the sill. There it is. I'm gonna keep it shut. Um, leave it there, Matt. I'm gonna come out. I think if I hit this corner right here, just with this block, it would push it. Right? Leave it right there. Um, it's like, uh, it's so close. Yeah, maybe when we screw it in, it'll get it tight enough. I mean, it'll almost close the way it is now. I'm just scared to push on it too much because I don't want to push the door out. Right. So what's the stitch? Yeah, what do we do? What do we do? Probably put our set screws in first. And just like that. And just like oh, that's pretty fun. Wonder if we just put this in. And then shim the other side. Ouch. I don't know. Maybe we put that top one in and drive it in and it'll like stretch it out. Uh, you talking about not shimming a door at all? <laughs> well, I think we'll stick shims in after it's screwed. We can try to tightening these silk plate screws. Remember they said you could tighten these to like... Mm. Look at that. The flathead bit just broke off. Interesting. Still hit. I think maybe shims up top. It may not be level if it goes this way, but I think it would help the door shut. Because wouldn't that fit went this way? 
feel like that it'll make that good. And shift it down on it. Yeah. Hey, how's it going, man? Right, how you doing? Doing all right. Got a, you know, okay. Dude, if that's Jeff, I swear to God. They're acting pretty friendly. I don't like the looks of it. So when were you going to tell me that uh, Jeff was coming by? <laughs> I wanted it to be a secret and a surprise. I so feel he's, like, he's your MLB guy? I feel like you guys got along really well just then. You both made eye contact. It's a good I start. I don't like the way you looked at the door. It only took, what, two and a half, three hours to put this in? <laughs> so we're taking kind of a break from the door. Uh, we're, we're having some issues getting it aligned and getting it straight and getting the door to, to close smoothly. Um, while, or since we've been working on that, the truck delivered our MLV, which is mass loaded vinyl. Um, the stuff that we're hanging on the wall after the insulation as soundproofing. Um, and so we're just, we unloaded the truck and now we're cutting this into pieces and, uh, we're going to start hanging the MLV on the walls. Woo! Uh, we've got a friend coming over who, uh, who knows a little bit more about hanging doors uh, to maybe tell us what we're missing and help us out. Um, in the meantime, we're gonna hang some MLV on the walls just so we can feel productive. We just had our friend Jeremy stop by from Early Bird Investments. Uh, huge shout out to him. He helped us out so much. Uh, what we were hoping would just be some additional shims or some shims in different places that, that we weren't trying yet, a different combination, uh, turned out to be so much more. Uh, we found out that there, there's a big crack in the, in the concrete floor and it kind of has the uh, where the door is how you say cattywampus and um, what we were trying to level was unlevelable uh, so he kind of sorted the door out for us and uh, did so much more than uh, than we thought we would need to do uh, so I think the moral of the story is sometimes it's okay to ask for help uh, I think we've said it a hundred times um, we're not professionals and we don't always know what we're doing uh, most of the time we don't and uh, we're learning as we go. And uh, so Jeremy, thanks a lot for showing us something. So we're gonna close things out here. The long and the short of it is, we started really early this morning. We wanted to put our new door in our new framed in wall and uh, get that all sealed in. We ran into a ton of issues. We spent hours trying to get the door just right. We shimmed it all different ways and, and couldn't come up with the right solution. We had our friend Jeremy come over and come to find out the foundation is a little bit crooked and uh, it, it kind of wasn't meant to be with that frame. So he really helped us out and, uh, and, and got it good to go. Um, my only piece of advice uh, is if you're putting in, if you're framing in for a new door, allow yourself some inches uh, of, of space on top and to the side so that when you're shimming and, and trying to level, you have a lot to work with. Yeah. Yep. And uh, while Jeremy was working on the door, we decided we had some extra time to spend on other things, so we decided to go throw this MLV up. Um, pretty simple, we just cut the length, slap it up here, and slap some staples in it. And we got it on this wall, started on the roof, we'll probably finish it tonight, and um, call it a day. And that's it, so thanks for hanging out with us, guys. Are you guys really doing that tonight? No. That's what Matt told me to say. <laughs> <laughs>